What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here. Um, I'm doing this video the same time I'm doing my relinquish video, but it should be uploaded two different times. Mm, that's probably why it's the same background, same white tee. I'm trying to do like four or five videos tonight because um, I'm behind in my YouTube, you know, and I don't want to be like one of those partners that just got partnership and don't want to do videos, but I have been very busy. Um, as most of y'all know, I've been talking about this light swan deck, um, slash formless, slash debris synchron. Um, I like to say debris synchron, only because when I think of quick draw synchron, I always think about debris dragon. But in Atlanta, Georgia, I played a light swan deck that had like a huge mix. And I didn't do so well with it. But then after coming back home and doing research on more cards that I could use, I saw um, Rigoro's deck. I think that's his name. The guy that won um, YCS Florida, Orlando. Another jump that I topped. Or YCS that I topped with Lice on. No, I think it was a jump. Um, looking at his build and looking at my build, there was really no, no like difference. Probably besides one or two cards. He played Spore and Shia, and I really did not. As um, If most of y'all don't know what Shia is, Shia is this. Why did he play this card? Um, because it's another name for Light Swans, and it works good with the Breeze Dragon. Um, so, in the regionals that happened like back in December, um, in King's Games, I was playing this deck. Um, I was getting reactions like, Jarrell, you you still trying to play Light Swans? Light Swans is dead, blah, 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 blah. So um, I told them that I'll never give up on Light Swans because I just think that I'm too good of a player when it comes to Light Swans at least. Or Light Swan variants to just give up. Um, the deck did extremely good in Kings Games Regionals, you know. Um, the deck has some very hard matchups. The deck's hardest matchup probably is Black Wings. Black Wings is still a threat out there. But when y'all see this deck list, though, I want y'all to keep in mind that Rigoro has a similar deck, probably. And after I made mimes on mine, I figured that me and him had probably like the same 40 cards. Um, So I changed it up a little bit. So I just want y'all to sit here and think about how good Light Swans can be and how dangerous um, it is to, un to underestimate them. They still have powerful cards like JD. And just to put Judgment Dragon next to a, a Junk Destroyer or next to Chevalier, you know, like clutch cards like that can really change the game. Spore and Glow Up Bob is just perfect tuners when you're talking about Light Swans itself because they're always in a graveyard. Gives you more foolish targets. And think about it. This deck doesn't play Wolf or Celestia. I know most Light Swan players who think they're good, blah, 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 and say that Wolf and Celestia are necessary. Um, Don't get me wrong. I think Celestia is awesome. I just don't have time to wait to sacrifice for the lady, like, or the man, or whatever people think it is. You know, like, I don't have time for that. This deck that I'm that y'all about to see is very fast. Um, It took me a very, very large amount of my time to sit here and try to slow down when I play with it, you know? Most people think Light Swans is fast by nature. I, I don't think they're fast by nature. I think the player who plays them can either be fast, which is aggressive, or slow and conservative, you know? You don't always have to mill with Light Swans. You don't always have to do some of the things people say you do need to do with Light Swans. Um, the side deck is just fantastic, depending on what you decide. I'm, I would not be showing you the side deck today because... Um, I don't really like to show side deck in videos because it's just something that I put together. My side deck is never accurate. My side deck is never ready for the event. Even in the events that I topped, um, I my side deck was barely ready, you know? Like, I probably got lucky when it came to side decking. Um, like, I get lucky sometimes drawing with light swan decks, you know? So, um, this deck maximizes on the three pots of avarices. And um, I just want you to keep in mind, this deck does not play Beckonings. It does not play Monster Reincarnations. Why? Because you don't have enough time to wait. Everything in this deck is fast. Um, not fast in the sense of pace, but the synergy in it just goes together. Similar to my Petco build. Um, everything just went together 
So without no further ado, I would like to show you how to deck. Once again, y'all already know how I like it. Just leave comments. Um, like or dislike the video. Hopefully y'all like this lights one video. Because um, I'm showing you how to deck that y'all probably all wanted to see and been waiting for. Um, so just keep in mind, this deck is made in a personal image of myself. I, I really like the deck only because of what it can do. And it doesn't really have bad matchups per se. It's just that it's a very hard matchup when you play Black Wings. Um, GBs and Sabres, I'm not even worried about those decks. I don't even think they exist. Um, so, yeah. Um, check it out. People think Gravekeeper stop it, but huh, that's another segment for another day. Trust me when I say Lights Ones have a great matchup against Sabres. And Lights Ones have a fabulous matchup against Gravekeepers. So, here go the deck. And one, two, three. One Aaron, three Rikos, two JDs, two Dandelions, two Honors, two Jane, three Debris, one Card Trooper, one Spore, one Lumina, one Garage, two Lilas, two Quick Draw Synchrons, one Plague Spreader, one Glow Above, one Necro Gardener, one Shire, one Gauze, one Darko, one Monster Reborn, one Foolish, one Cold Wave, one Charge the Light Brigade, three Solar Recharge, three Pot of Avarice, three Royal Decrees. Guys, I, that's the deck. I hope y'all like it. I told y'all y'all would like the deck, right? Um, special shout outs to my boy Ruby. Um, special shout outs to Rogoro. I think I'm saying his name wrong, but I'm sorry. Um, you probably don't know me anyway, but yeah. Um, special special shout outs to Austin. Special shout outs to um everyone that supports me when it comes to light swans. Yeah, the deck that y'all just saw was probably a mirror image. Of not a mirror image per se, but an image of the deck I played with in Atlanta, Georgia. The deck is very good. I named it Formula Swans um, or Swan Formula. So when you see that name around, just think of me. I can bring out Formula Synchron so quick, it's not even funny. And just know that ever since Jersey, I fell in love with Debris Dragon, Dandelion. So probably all my decks until they touch that card or touch Black Rose Dragon will have those cards in it. If you have any questions about the deck, please leave a comment below or private message me. Um, I really take pride in Light Swans to like the next degree. Um, and I think when everyone's focused on Gravekeepers and Samurais... Um, I would still be playing Lights Ones. It's not that I can't get those cards that everyone's collecting, because I do have them. It's just that I don't see the pro the problem with Lights Ones, you know? Um, so I hope y'all like it once again. Remember, like or dislike, comment, rate, subscribe. And I hope I can give y'all more things when it comes to Lights Ones, you know? So, um... My next Light Swarm video, I will be critiquing a Light Swarm player's deck. Um, I owe him a shout out. So my shout out to him will be praising him for playing Light Swarms, slash Twilight, slash whatever. Um, he is a Light Swarm player also. He's been playing Light Swarm since they probably first came out. I was just talking to him the other day on my phone. Um, yeah, and if I had your number before and maybe you don't talk anymore, that's probably because I got a new phone. Um, I got this Evo for Sprint. So, yeah, holla at me. You already know if it's not pro, we got to go, dude.